So you've been building some backlinks for a while and yet your domain rating, your DR has gone down. What on earth is going on here? I see a lot of people asking this question. A lot of my own clients have actually come back to me after a month or two saying, you've been working with us building 10 quality backlinks a month and yet our DR either isn't as moving as much as we want it to or it's even gone down. That's very unusual, but it can happen. What is going on here? A domain rating from Ahrefs is a pretty misunderstood metric, and there's loads of different, different nuances to it. But in this case, the most important aspect is that it's a relative metric and not an absolute metric. What do I mean by that? So DR is actually influenced by all the websites in the Ahrefs database, of which there are plenty. So as 100 is the ceiling in Ahrefs, it can't extend that ceiling any further, Therefore, it's got to constantly reassess the, the levels of individual domain ratings. So to simplify it, basically, if all your competitors or indeed loads of websites around the internet all got a load more backlinks, Ahrefs can't just create more DR. So the rest of the DR metric has got to adjust to account for that. So therefore, you could have 50 backlinks and stay with 50 backlinks, but your DR will change based on the activity of other websites and how many backlinks they get within the Ahrefs database. So that means potentially, yes, you could be building links and your DR could still go down if lots of other websites are aggressively building links. So that's one reason why your DR might have gone down based on the activity of other websites within the Ahrefs database and how many backlinks they're acquiring. So this is just another one of those arguments why link building is really important. People think they can just build a site, attract links organically over time like Google wants you to. And the reality is you'll just fade away because... You need to keep that engine pumping. You need to put some fuel on the fire. The internet keeps growing, building more and more links, so you don't want to get left behind. Otherwise, your domain rating will just fade away into obscurity. I see this a lot with expired domains, where you might see an expired domain on a marketplace, and once you actually check it in Ahrefs, you might find the latest data is very different to when that domain was listed six months ago, and it might have lost half of its DR in that time. After that, a lot of it comes down to the actual sites you're getting your links from. So obviously your DR is largely influenced by the DR of the sites you're getting links from. So generally we say, certainly for English language links, we aim for a minimum DR of 30. The average is normally around 55 and obviously loads of other quality metrics, including traffic. But of course, a lot of that depends on the link building activity of that site you're getting the links from. So if they're building links, then their DR should climb and therefore your DR should also climb in line with theirs. However, the opposite is also true. If you're relying on low quality link farms that link out to thousands upon thousands of websites, then already the power you're getting from that link tends to be quite low. So I see loads of agencies getting excited about building DR60, 70 links, but I say those are linking out to 100,000 bound links, and therefore the power you're getting from that link is really small. But could it be worse? Absolutely. If that site is constantly linking out to more and more people, and not acquiring any more links itself, then the influence on your DR is going to reduce even further. Over time, you're getting less and less power. So that's why when we're doing link building, we're always trying to get sites that are on an uptrend where we want to see the traffic going up, we want to see the visibility going up, the backlinks going up, because hopefully what we really want to do is get a really good link now that's going to keep growing and get more powerful. Not only do we want to try and rank that page, but we also want to see that that website is getting better and better. Its traffic is increasing. Loads of sites we see are basically fading away to nothing. Lots of websites, especially new sites, if they're struggling with monetization, then often selling links is one of the last resorts they'll go to to try and get some revenue coming in. So for that reason, when you're performing outreach, you'll very regularly get loads of sites that are basically on their way out and just clinging on trying to get some revenue in by working with SEO agencies. So ideally you want the sites you're building links from to actually be gaining backlinks rather than just giving out loads of links and reducing their power over time. That's a key part of our screening process. We're always looking at this number of how many outbound links are on a website and we can basically compare that against the number of sites that are linking to this site, the number of inbound links, and that will give us an idea of how we like this site and whether we want links from it or not. So what should you do if your DR is going down? Obviously there is variation. So most of my clients, even when we're building a consistent number of high quality links, we do see a little bit of turbulence because as we say, it's constantly based on the Ahrefs database updating in line with the broader internet. So there's always a little bit of up and down. But generally, if you're noticing a severe drop of say more than the three DR, then you should probably consider building more backlinks and making sure there's a high quality backlinks where they're not over diluting themselves. They're not already linking out to thousands upon thousands of websites and also not increasing that number of outbound links at a really high rate. We do actually check each link's backlink profile as well 
for signs of DR manipulation, because there's all kinds of ways you can actually inflate the DR of a linking site. In this particular example, this is from my blacklist. If we go and look at the backlinks, we can see some of these DR manipulation techniques where if we sort by DR, we can see this website has built all these scammy redirects from different Google domains. So this is one method of DR manipulation. So Ahrefs does try and keep on top of all these different manipulation tricks. A few years ago, I think it was YouTube and Pinterest. Some of those links would basically get your DR up, up to 60 or 70 instantly with one link. And those have now been filtered out of the Ahrefs algorithm. So you never know when something like this might happen, where if you have been relying on building cheap links, building scammy links, you might suddenly find that these websites you're relying on that were DR60 will instantly drop down to DR10 or 20 overnight because they've been using these unsustainable practices to manipulate their DR. So that also could be another reason why your DR is dropping. So as usual, the key is quality and the key is diversity. So I still say stick with the press release and the citations, even though those, those are generally low quality links, it's a good foundation. Then on top of that, build your high quality outreach links, and that will really propel you to the top. We've talked a lot about DR today, but of course it's not really about DR. DR is just a sense of rankability. If the top 10 of Google for your main keywords are all DR 50s and 60s, you know you need to get up to DR 50s and 60s. If they're in the 80s and 90s, then it might well be that unless you have a big budget for link building, you might need to think about other techniques or other keywords because 1890 is really hard to penetrate. On the other hand, if you discover that your main keywords have got DRs of 20 and 30 in the top 10, then you know you can rank for that pretty quickly. Here's one of my clients I often show who started with us at zero. So DR00 zero, zero traffic. So you can see domain rating was zero in November 2022 and the blue line is referring domains. So some of those will just be the scammy low quality backlinks we all pick up all the time anyway. But 10 links of those per month were from our high quality outreach process. And you can see over time we've got domain rating 7, 11, 22, 25, 28, hovering around 27, 28, and just in the last six months or so, breaking through into the 30s, 31, 32-ish. And in that time, traffic has definitely responded well. So from zero at the end of 2022, right up to nearly 40,000 visitors per month in April 2024. So if you want to get similar results yourself, go to seojesus.com. You can sign up for the free Ranking Revelations newsletter, or if you have a budget, you can go to apply. We do have a waiting list, but we tend to accelerate the clients we think could really benefit from the service and get serious ROI. So fill an application form there, and you'll get a free audit just for your inquiry, because my team will dig deep to work out we can get you ROI. If we can't, if we think outside the budget, whatever, it's not right for you, you will still have a clear roadmap for you to implement.